I don't know what the fuck just happened, man. Damn, man. It's a little time. I fought that. I told you I feel like you're now. One thing that I'm nigga like, we gon' tell them we. My dog say, gon' keep that bass when you play me in a band. And I want to boy like Brad Spike, I'm gon' show the end. This is my dog, I'm trying to get my name on the They be like, Trey, I'm saying, they think they know the ball scene. You know you blow my stress around, they like, you know the pain. As soon as he back, he turns to cat, I'm just gonna throw that in. I said, I'm going off, just fuck that sign, you know that nigga ain't playing. Middle of the day, that's my high, even though we have pain. I know the time, she stole my time, but she ain't half free. One time we know he gon' stay with that white, like, fuck you, wait a claim. Nigga, I'll spot in the middle of the night, she ain't gonna let him in. You know we ain't going out, I'll fight, I'm trying to better me. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Um, so let's try to get what we can in before they try to fuck us over. Okay, um, that's that's Trey HD once again. Uh, big brother, Trey HD, and um, that song is called Never End. Yeah, I know I fuck with Trey HD heavy over here. Um, yeah, it's an Alabama artist, and actually, a uh, risk taker put me on him. Um, okay, let's go to um, why can't I never just never have you know the shit I need, man? Who sent me the goddamn uh video? Here you go. came out and said that uh he was trying to his his burp got caught or something like that um and it's not Tourette's because we saw him we saw him on the um hey Katrina uh did trees Amos do something What was going on with Triggs Amos? Was there something good or something bad?
Trees Amos. Tree solid. Then what 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 did he do? What what did Trees Amos? Hold on, man. If something happened with this dude, Trees Amos. Trees Amos. He got my hat on. Let me see. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit shit. He oh okay. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you good tree. That's my fault, man. That's my fault, my nigga. I thought you was the ops and shit like that, man. You know I'm paranoid as fucked up, man. Yeah, you know I'm paranoid and fucked up, man. That's why I gotta have a handle, man. So I can remind, but no, what it was, Tree, is that um I saw a song that you did, and um I didn't know that you did music, so definitely salute to you, my nigga. So everybody go and check out Triggs Amos music. Um, he is definitely a musician. And uh I also see you on uh Facebook a lot, Triggs. Uh you be making posts. Um and Katrina, I wanted to speak to you behind closed doors about some posts you make on uh Facebook also. All right. Okay, now we're talking about. Let's go back to this right here. No, the fuck he ain't no that, that nigga ain't detoxing for no motherfucker. And I'm seeing a lot of things in the comments. I ain't, I ain't even got my damn thing up. I'm seeing a lot of like words in the comment section. Some people saying Xanax. Um, you can tell that he pop and sip for real. If he was pop, the only way you'll be able to tell that he pop and sip for real is if he was drowsy, like J D Youngin was on Vlad. That shit right there. That's something different. That's something different. I would say, I would say Molly. Um, I was, I would say it's an upper. It's an upper. Um, if you do too much, if you do too much, um, uh, too many pills, you going to sleep. If you, um, son of a fucking bitch. If you do. Watch how I go to the library and none of my videos come on. If you go to, uh, if you do too many pills, you're going to sleep. Xanax, Percocet, whatever. But see, and some people think that Molly come and pill. Molly don't come. Molly come in fucking crystals. That's the first thing. Molly come in crystals. And um, you do too much fucking Molly, that's how you will be like twitching and shit like that. I remember being in Buddy Watch. Uh, one time when I was in Metro and shit like that, I was in a beard, so I was in a uh, buddy watch and shit. Uh, and of course, buddy watch is where you gotta watch the crazy people for six fucking hours with no TV, just watching them. And um, I'd be motherfuck man if uh a nigga that uh, he he was actually a barber, he, he uh cut hair in a mall and shit like that in that that uh, barber shop they had in a the mall for a little minute. I been I know they ain't got that shit no more, but it was a good idea though. A barber shop in the mall is smart, but uh, that nigga was doing that shit. He was like picking shit, like he he was in the turtle suit, like for feel like three days. This nigga was like picking that shit, whatever, like that. Like he was throwed the fuck off. I don't know. They said that he had swallowed an ounce of Molly or some shit like that, but I think he might die from that shit. Um, I don't, I don't even want to think about that shit. That that, that Molly shit was that that was that was a different that was that was something different. 
I told y'all when I first tried Molly, I thought that shit was a fucking miracle drug. I thought that shit was a fucking miracle drug. But we need to find out. And a lot of people also, a lot of people also. My, but look though, look though. Molly, for the person who said Molly is not male, no, it's not supposed to be. But what, what happened down here in Alabama, them niggas in Pritchard had that pink Molly and shit like that. And the word came down that whoever they were getting their shit from, because they were getting their shit from Pensacola and shit like that. It was word that them niggas around that bitch, um, I guess they were getting some shit offline. This is 2014, huh? Getting the shit offline, and uh, what they were getting was Chinese milk. It was Chinese milk. And I'm trying to tell you something, dog. As far as symptoms and shit like that, these motherfuckers go hand in hand. If you go look it up on a computer about what Molly does and what milk does, uh, Molly was for people, it's pure MDMA. Molly was for people in counseling sessions who didn't, you know, want to talk and, and wouldn't open up and shit like that. So they, you know, it's, a, it's an actual uh, prescribed drug, give you a little dose of MDMA to where you'll be talkative, you know, you'll feel good, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's what ecstasy was derived from. Ecstasy was derived um, from um, Molly, the, the pure form of MDMA. Um, I see you, Trey, almost. Um, Trey, uh, Triggs, uh, and also what we're going to do is for all my moderators, all my moderators, I want y'all to... Um, I want y'all to... Uh, Make sure you um um I want y'all to uh make sure you share that we're live every time we go live. One of you your um jobs is gonna be to make sure that you post it online on your social media. Let everybody know that we're live. All right, I just got a, a um an email from somebody. Shout out to Lynn Goggins. Lynn Goggins, the first, is usually, usually Trey Reed go first, but um, Lynn did it first. Okay. Lynn, do you want me to say this out loud or you want me just to? And who the fuck is Lynn Goggins? Is that, that's not organic soup, organic soul gumbo. Um, I don't know if you want me to say that out loud, so I won't, but shout out to Lynn Goggins. All right. I just got an email. And it, it just seems suspect, so I'm going to read it to y'all. Because I wanted to talk to y'all earlier about artist promotion and shit like that. But let's get back to this. My name is James, and no, I'm not on the prowl to scam you. Usually when an email start off like that, it's, it's, it's a scam. I just thought I would add that, add that in there because I've been getting that from some people that I've contacted. I work for 4040 brands as an account executive. My job is to work to work with our creative director to bring to bring content to our newest to our newest project culture. No, you don't got you don't you don't got to block you don't you don't have to block off off um uh you don't have to block off topic comments but for all the people that are talking um off topic understand if somebody see your shit and think that you know what I'm saying you saying some negative shit well actually if they're not saying that negative they don't block them don't block them they ain't saying that negative I want y'all to listen to this though. Listen to what the fuck just happened, dog. Listen to what the fuck just happened. This nigga just said, "My name." Look at this shit, my nigga. 
y'all can't read that. But my name is James, and no, I'm not on the prowl to scam you. I just thought I would add that in, add that in there because that's I've been getting that from some people that I've contacted. I work for 4040 Brands as an account executive. My job is to work with our creative director uh, to bring content to our newest project, Culture Trail. I work for 4040 Brands as an account executive. My job is to work with our creative director to bring content to our newest project, Culture Trail. We are currently looking to bring in. I gotta stop bullshitting, my nigga. I gotta stop bullshitting, dog. That's why I'm trying. See, this is why the fuck I'm changing my schedule around. This is why I'm changing everything around. Going to the gym and all this other shit like this. Getting up earlier. Going to sleep earlier. Because if I wake up at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, I can't go down here to the copyright place. I can't go down here to the, you know, all the, all the, the trademark place and, and, and do everything that I need to do. Even though you can do it online. I can't do it like I need to, dog. Tell you, dog, tomorrow, dog, tomorrow. I didn't wait around too fucking long thinking that because, you know what I'm saying, it's obvious that I'm the creator of the rap trap theory and nobody was on this shit. Dog, I'm telling you, the, uh, what that was, what day that was, uh, when I was, I asked on um, Facebook, when did Boosie make that, uh, Artists uh, hypnotized by hatred. Artists get killing their own city shit like that because I really, I really uh thought that nigga, I really nigga, I didn't see that boosted shit when I was talking about how a nigga always get killed in his own city and all that shit like that. I really believe that I came up with that shit first because that whole hypnotized by hatred speech was just my shit word for word. Now these motherfuckers, who in the fuck hit me up to my culture trap? Somebody hit me up to my culture trap too. I know it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to miss it. So now it's culture trap. We are currently looking to bring several paid content providers and your channel stood out to us. Your content is exactly what we're looking for. Please consider working with us. A simple reply email would get us started so we can go over the details with you. And that's the Rap Trap channel, dog. They, they, they're not on the Big Facts pod. They got all my channels have different email addresses. They're on the Rap Trap fucking. Who is the creator of this culture trap idea? Where did it come from? Motherfuckers, man. Damn, everything I fucking, but that's my fault. At this point, it, we're past the point of, ah, these folks stealing my shit. They're going to do that. Fucking, the bitch stole the fucking, uh, me and two fucking copyright. So I couldn't get the shit. DJ Academics up that bitch on the fucking uh, everyday struggle. Now they got a segment called fucking Big Facts. And I, I, I dog, to be honest, I wondered, like, how, Academics, how can you, how, like, how, like, you know what? I would have felt like this. If they're going to run with that shit, being that you've already shouted out, not my name, you, uh, there's, a, there's a guy on YouTube named Big Facts, Big Facts, like, you since you've done it and i understand you know what i understand that a quote-unquote celebrity saying something is everything to a person but to that celebrity it's like i don't even remember saying that shit i can understand that shit i can understand it um sometimes i go on people's instagram uh, or whatever like that they mention me and shit like that and i may have said something about them or some shit whatever the fuck and I'm like, God damn, I don't, you know what I mean? Because you just, you're doing so much. But my shit, 
my nigga, you know who the fuck I I what I guess what I'm trying to run it is like maybe he don't know who the fuck I am. My nigga, you know who the fuck I am. For y'all to run a segment on that show, even using that fucking phrase is like uh you know what I'm saying? Then for the motherfucking uh NBA fucking 2K took the are you serious shirts. What are we doing? These are documented things. I'm not making this shit up. And I'm not going around who's stealing my shit. Let me see. This motherfucker just said culture trap. It said culture trap. But that's my fault. Everything that comes out of my mind, I'm supposed to trademark, copyright, and make sure that shit is stamped. After that me and two shit, after that are you serious shit on 2K, there's no fucking way that I should have, you know what I'm saying, been slipping on shit. But I did, man. I did. Okay, Trey Reed came back. Trey Reed said we tapped in. Okay, then, Trey, I see you. Also, shout out to Mellow Jones once again. Uh, Mellow Jones says, thank you, AO. You are a real one. I have a question. Do you think real black men will have to go to war with NABs and the children to reclaim our rightful place within black society? I'm going to answer that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thrown off a little bit, man. I'm thrown off a little bit about that, man. Um, culture trap? No, like... Honestly, 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 um, for them, it really feels like it really feels like I know what I, I know I do. Uh, shot the boar in the building too, but and I appreciate them. I, I appreciate y'all being with me, man. Cosine LSC. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I couldn't, I couldn't. When we went, we went, uh, me and uh actually I had a, a fucking uh an ambassador at that time, uh, for the me and two shit. This is when the shit was when it, you know, the Cardi B shit and everybody was, what the fuck is me and two and everything like that? Hey, everybody, please, let's hit the tricks, 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 tricks. No, we don't. No, we the fuck we don't. I don't want no, I don't want no issue with no internet personality. No, we don't. No, we won't. No, we don't do that. I don't want no issue with no, no YouTube personality. They know more about this fucking internet shit than I do. I don't know how and, and these motherfuckers. I, I, I'm getting feelings that people are trying to take me out of my uh, position so that they can feel that position. I don't want no issue. I don't want no issue with nobody. I don't want no problem with nobody. I understand people have feelings and stuff like that. I don't want no problem with nobody. No, no, no. No, I don't. I can't know. You know, I, I I have issues with I don't like certain things about YouTube channels. I don't like YouTubers who um talk about gangster. I don't like YouTube I don't like people who talk but won't show you who they are. I don't I, I don't like that. So if you have an opinion, I believe your face should be there to stand behind your opinion because without it, it kind of makes me feel like you're just trying to stir up shit without having to be involved. I don't know how anybody would watch a person that you can't see. Um, you can play all the fucking bullshit games you want to play. Like, ah, I, I want it to be. No, yeah, no. Um, and I need to go check that video to... uh. 
No, nah, he, he didn't, Katrina. He didn't. Uh, but like I said, I, 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 I'm going to go check on that that, uh, that video to see and make sure that everything is everything. Um, I feel like if you're on, if you're, if you're man enough to give your opinion or woman enough to give your opinion, you're telling me that you will talk about somebody, but you won't allow yourself to be seen. You want to judge other people, but no, don't judge me. I, it's just it's so fucking hypocritical. How is it that because and we know what it is. A lot of these niggas know exactly what they'll look like if they got on camera discussing gangster topics. Kodak Black goes to jail. Oh yeah, man, you know Kodak Black is a gangster, and uh, he um yeah it was just um yeah so he can't let anybody punk him out because he's a gangster. You know how he rolls. He has you know guns and, and friends that will kill people, and it's like. I feel like if you won't show your face, you're supposed to get on the video and say on March 25th, um, March 25th, 2019, Marcus Adams, a.k.a. NBA Youngboy, uh, 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 Cardell, whatever the fuck his name is, um, was arrested on the 1500 block of da 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 Police say they'll give more, um, they'll give more um details when possible all right um you guys let me know what you think about it that's all you should say your opinion shouldn't be put into that shit or nothing you shouldn't be nigga shut the fuck up but you got youtubers that will not only I hope they know YouTuber name tricks. But you got YouTubers that are not only go ahead and give a fucking opinion, these motherfuckers will start talking about gangster shit on some like get how in the fuck can you talk gangster shit and nigga can't nigga in order to talk gangster shit, you have to be of a certain fucking claw. And the real niggas, the gangsters will the only way we'll know if you if you are of that cloth. Is if we see your face, we need to know your name so that you can be verified. Real niggas don't have, like nigga. You should want your if your face ain't fucked up, meaning your face ain't dirty. You ain't got no uh a snitch rumors, gay rumors, uh cooperation rumors, whole rumors like you being a bitch ass nigga getting slapped around the city. How in the fuck can you be on YouTube and we don't know if you? Uh, a white supremacist. We don't know if you are a fucking informant. We don't know if, because somebody around your city know, and the, the word gonna start spreading. How, that we don't know that you, like, you the hoe of the town. Like, everybody be uh, punking you the fuck out and shit like that. Or, nigga, you undercover gay as fuck, and everybody in your city know it. It's reasons why you hide your identity. There are reasons behind it. There are reasons why the hoes of the city go over there to, uh, will go to uh, fucking uh, Michigan. The hoes of Alabama go to, well, if she a hoe in Alabama, she'll go from northern Alabama to southern Alabama. Same thing with Florida. You know, they'll go from that part of the state to that part and it's so they can reinvent themselves. And and if anybody got something to say about them on, on Facebook or something like that, they say, oh, them hoes just hating. Them whole line, it's just all rumors and shit like that. Show your motherfucking face. When you talking about this gangster shit, man, Honestly, I feel like, nigga, if you ain't that, you really shouldn't even speak on that shit for real. And I've, I've spoke on that before. This is why when these motherfuckers get done with their fucking video uh, and shit like that, um, they have... Yeah, Triz, you starting to scare me, man. Every time you post something, I got to look at what you said, man. I'm looking at what you saying. Yeah. 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 Hey y'all, look here. Look, y'all. Look. Look, y'all.
I tried to use OBS. Shout out to DJ Kenny Mac. I tried to use OBS. It didn't work. Yeah, it shit ain't work. But uh, hey man, look, I don't, I, I don't understand why I got, I got a big y'all to hit the like button, man. Real talk, man. Big fast podcast. Yeah, what's going on with you? We can't hear. We can't hear you, man. We can't hear you. You got you got me on speakerphone, man. You got you had to talk to the phone. We can't hear you. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Oh fuck! Hold on. Hold on. I'm here. I'm here. Hold on. What's your name, my man? Big Cincy. This who? Big Cincy. Big Cincy? Yeah. Okay. I'm saying, what's your name on the Patreon? Big Cincy. Big Cincy. Okay. You know, that, that's, okay. Real, that's real close to uh, the other word. But, um, okay. Go ahead. Speak your yeah. piece. Speak your piece. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. I got TV weight charges. And it, that bitch is lying. You said what now? I got I got pending weight charges. And it's bullshit because I ain't did nothing, no bitch. Oh shit. Yeah. I be watching your podcast, man. We do gotta get these red large chains. We, we we gotta we gotta we gotta get your um shit. Yeah. Uh we gotta get these weight large chains. Yes, we do. Yes, we, we have to get these rate laws changed. And you know what's crazy that you said that? Have you seen the, um, the, my, um, what's my man name? My, my heen, my heen, my heen, clee, clees video? No, who that? Uh, my he, my heen, fuck is this nigga name, man? Uh, shout out to all the, uh, all of my people that are, um, are showing love. Shout out to Rodney James. Uh, he said some love, showing some love. I appreciate that so much, Rodney. Thank you. Um, Trey Reed, once hey, again. We all, we all love you, A.O. Oh, man, I appreciate it. you. Thank you so much. Uh, Trey Reed oh. said, I'll, I'll break them. I'll break them niggas next fucking with us. Fucking right, Trey. Uh, Lynn Goggins says, YouTube, I'm talking about the NAB in ATL. Okay, okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. Um, Atlanta. Mellow Jones. Uh, and Lynn Goggins again. Thank you so much, y'all. Um, now, the the, uh, the person I'm talking about is a basketball player. His name is my uh, my my Mateen Cleves. Mateen Cleves. See this? This is. After watching this video, it was a critical piece of evidence that you were barred from seeing during trial. You're about to see it now, but we need to warn you. Is difficult to watch. In the early hours of September 15th, 2015, the woman who alleged Mateen Cleves raped her is seen walking away from the Night Scene Motel, partially nude. That's Cleves. Oh, hell no. Nah. Wearing nothing but socks. We're we about, we about to watch that video, y'all. We're about to watch that video because this yeah. is something I was yeah. so scared of. What I didn't want was for the um, Men Too movement to get, to get rapists off the hook i never wanted to make a um loophole in the law to where now rapists can go around raping people and getting away with it and maybe even you know hiding or using the men to movement to help them do it um but yeah yeah we're we gonna we're gonna we're gonna um her ass must have a reputation of doing it yeah that that yeah. that, that, that oh. that's probably it too but my man you you're saying uh Yes, he is. Yes, I'm saying he looking nuts in that video. So, my man, so you said you got a rape case pending, but it's a lie. Um, where you from? I'm from Cincinnati. Cincinnati. That, that's what Ty from. Yeah. Yeah, Ty from out there in Cincinnati. Um, yeah. Man, and, the bitches out here be trifling. I'm going to tell you that. They is known for that. Man, you know what's so crazy, man, is that, dog, I don't know how it happened, but 
you know, since I, you know, started the show and shit like that, you know, Ohio has uh, just came up like the, Ohio has become a, a, a fucking a, a, a part of my life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first, the way it started was when I started fucking with Ty, she was from Cincinnati and shit like that. And that was just a whole fucking situation. But then even after that, now, you know what I'm saying? You know, Katrina from there, Big C from there, uh, who was that? Days from there. Um, like three, 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 three of the, uh, three of the, um, three of the, um, um, no, 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 no. This nigga said Dave. This nigga said Dave Palmer. The uh, intern applicants are from fucking Ohio, so uh, Ohio oh, yeah. is a fucking. It's a part of my life. Um, and uh, I didn't know. Like I said, I did not know. You know, you you and from come from Alabama, you look at Ohio the same way you look at Idaho, Wyoming, Utah. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, it's just you know, just a place. Yeah. Whatever. Well, I don't like, fuck with Idaho, and most people from Ohio don't fuck with Idaho. Yeah, I, I mean, I I just didn't think it was black people there. Like, I, you know, it's one of them places yeah. you just think it's all white folks. But it's like uh, it's really niggas there, and it really be going down on that motherfucker. Yeah, no, it's popping out here, man. It's popping. Yeah, like, I I didn't I didn't no I, I didn't know though. <laughs> and a tell them caller. So I, I didn't know, man, but but now seeing how 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 it's going down out there in Ohio, I can't wait to come. Uh, yeah, Cincinnati. Like uh, when when Ty was telling me about Cincinnati, she was talking about the heroin and shit like that. Um, and every time you turn on the news, it seemed like it's Florida, Ohio, or um, Florida, Ohio. New York, maybe Philadelphia, uh-huh. but Ohio is definitely you know, they got like, a big problem up here. But they got a lot of dope fiend bitches. Yes, and then so so yeah, speak so so so. so $3. Oh yeah, yeah, so $3. speak. Yeah, so speak your piece, man. So how how did this all go down? What happened? Man, we went out on a date, and uh, where you, where you met? Yeah. <laughs> where you, where you met at? You you met so you, I'm saying like what y'all met online or something like how did you meet her? Yeah, we met on plenty of fish. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm oh gonna tell you right god. now, the bitches on there trifling and they got the beat. Why was why was you on a hey, mozzarella? Um, yeah, we got mozzarella oh, sticks, Playboy. Don't get me wrong. No, no, no. Hold, hold on, Carla. What's your name? Are you what's your name, Carla? I, uh, I we gotta find another name than Big Sensi because that that that's just too close. Um, let let us find another name. We're gonna call you. We're gonna call you Big Dog. All right. Yeah. And whoever the fuck that was with that three dollar fucking super chat to my some listen to my fucking mozzarella music, man. Get your motherfucking weird ass the fuck out of here. This is the issue with artists now. This is why for all my other artists who doing their thing. This is why you get such a bad fucking rap because all this spot smashing shit. Yeah, we definitely got Mr. Real Estate. What the fuck? Uh, but this is why motherfucker look at you so crazy because motherfucker be coming with all that crazy shit, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Don't be you spot spot like that. Shit, yeah, but look though. So look, 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 big dog. So I'm trying to find out why were you on plenty of fish? Meaning, why wouldn't you go in person? Why, why, if you wanted to? Oh yeah, man, man, shit, man. I'm 38 years old. I've been meeting bitches at the club, you know, for for damn near, you know, 20 years. Fuck me five years. You know, I just changed it up. It went out there, you know, and you know, I met the bitch and she didn't like me. We got an argument. She just no, 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 no. See, this, this, see, here's the thing. What yeah. happens with us is especially as black men is we and Katrina talks about this like a lot on her show uh I want everybody to make sure they go to the uh conversation with me podcast uh because she breaks these things down and also Katrina I heard that last video you said 
when I told that nigga to go back to Ari, if he love her, and you said, nah, I don't go back to her. We're going to talk about that in a minute, too. But, yeah. but like, we have to speak uh, so people can learn. So I want you to let me know, first off, because there's a young man that's probably going through the same thing that you're that you're that you went through but he's at a different stage see he isn't at the stage where she called rape on him he's at the stage where they're just going on a date so i want to you know break this whole thing down so that we can understand firstly you know how you guys met why plenty of fish seem like a good idea and you know it just everything about it like all right so you met on plenty of fish what was the first thing that you said to her did you approach her did she approach you what happened Uh, she hit me up. Said she liked she liked the cut, you know. She liked how it looked. She liked how it hang. We talk. We talk on the phone. Oh, 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 hold on, big dog. Yeah, hold on. So, hold on, uh, hold on, yeah. You're saying that on plenty of fish. She approached you and said she likes how it hangs. Yeah. What was she talking about? Man, I'm gonna tell you right now. That should have been the first red flag. I should have known right then. You know, I should have taken it out of thought or nothing. I'm trying. No, I'm, I'm trying to. So what? You, you're you're on plenty of fish naked. No, 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 no. I mean, she didn't, she didn't say that exactly, but, uh, you know, that, that's her approach. You know, she was coming at me aggressive. Uh, what did she say, body. Big Dog? I want to know what she said exactly. I, I, I want to know what she said exactly. So you was on Plenty of Fish one day, and you saw a message from her. What did the message say, the first message that she ever sent to you? She was like, hey, you're looking good, or something like that. Okay, okay. All right, now, was, was uh, she white or black? Okay. And that's, that that should have been my second red flag. Because these bitches be trifling as fuck out here. All right. So we got a lot of work to do here. So you're so, saying that you're saying that your second red flag should have been that she was black. All right. Now. Yeah. I, 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 I white. She come at me white. What? Come at me with a white attitude. Oh, okay, okay. With Stacey Dash. What, what, what's, what, what, what's, what's a white attitude? What's a white attitude? Like a, like a Stacey Dash type of bitch. Oh, like, like on some a black Republican shit. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. okay, so she came at you, and and he's already said, y'all. He said he's thirty eight years old. Okay. So you're on plenty of fish. She's coming at you. She's liking what she's seeing. All right. Um, what did what did you respond to her saying? After she said, "Hey, uh, you, you look pretty good." She gave you a compliment. How did you respond after that? I mean, she said she looked good too. She had a fat ass. You know, uh, uh, you know, I thought I liked the way she looked too. And uh, you know, then we start talking on the phone uh, about a week. Okay, all right. So you start. You, okay, so you started talking for a week. All right, all right. So tell me some more attributes she had. You said she had a fat ass. Was anything else on her fat? Fat ass. She had fat titties. She uh, had. She had. She had. She had. She had real All right, all right, all right. So, uh, all right, uh, here we go. All right, so you told her what it was. Uh, uh she, all right, so she had long hair. She had long hair, good hair. She had fat titties. She wasn't fat, so she, this is pretty much a dime. Fat ass, big titties. She, she, she 
24 years old, and that should have been my third red flag. I'm going to be honest with you, that really should have, because I don't understand anybody under fucking 35, anybody under 30 should not be on Plenty of Fish. Any And I'm, I need to put that, if, if you have not seen the um, how to identify, this is what we're talking about right now. If you have not seen the how to identify a nab in public video, get to Patreon immediately. The next video on that series is going to be how to identify a nab by her house. Then after that, we're going to do the how to identify a nab by her children. Then we're going to do the how to identify a nab by her car. How to identify a nab from her boyfriend. How to identify a nab from her parents. We're going all out with this shit. But you have to, that shit is coming out. Oh, that's a Patreon series. That's a web series that will only be on Patreon. Make sure that you're on Patreon. Um, now, with her being 24 years old and being on Plenty of Fish, I have to assume that she has children. She got two children. There it is. There it is. Yo, there it is. That my red flag. There it is. That, 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 there it is. I mean, and that, that's just what, it, it's a desperate bitch. You are a desperate bitch. If you're on a dating site, you're a desperate bitch. You're a desperate, you, you on that bitch, you tell me, ah, oh, yeah, you know, on a profile, uh, love to walk on the beach, love reading books, love. Yeah, she did say that. She said she liked going to the beach. Mm. Yeah. Love, love going out. Yeah, she said she liked going to the beach. Love being around nature, all that bullshit. All right, so here it is. How so now on the first date? How, when did you find out she had children? Uh, in the middle of the day. Oh, and, and on the middle. Okay, middle of the day. Okay, so y'all were talking on the after, phone after she ordered her entree. Okay, all right, let, let, let's do this. All right, so when you first talked to her on the phone, how did she sound? Did she sound ghetto? Did she sound belligerent? Did she sound like she was, you know, a little uh, unintelligent? She sounded white on the phone. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. And you never heard any kids in the background. Mm-hmm. Okay. What times of the day would y'all talk on the phone, and how long would y'all, um, um, average on average, how long would y'all talk? Say late at night. Late at night for an hour. Hour two. Hour two. Late night. Okay. Hmm. All right. Now, when it was time to uh, go out, who who uh, chose the place? Oh, uh, I, I chose the place. Okay, you chose you chose Olive Garden. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you haven't seen her in person yet. Um. If so, let me add. I'm, I got to ask you a personal question. You are on plenty of fish. I think on plenty of fish, don't it, don't it, uh, don't it, uh, let you say, um, doesn't it let you say what you're looking for on there? Doesn't it let you say like looking for a relationship, looking for a friend, looking for a long term, you know, looking for do it? Does it let you say that? Uh, yeah, yeah. It says she look at the date. Okay, look like she, okay up to that. I'm saying, what were you looking for? Uh, yeah, I was looking at date. Okay, so w- you you were on plenty of fish, and you're actually you actually wanted to find someone to date on there. Yeah. Okay, because I mean, I, I'm, I'm asking that because me. Plenty of fish was a um, is a um, it's a it's a plenty of fish is supposed to be uh, the new back page. So from the beginning, plenty, yeah. of, plenty of fish was a prison app. Plenty of fish was for niggas in prison and lonely white bitches and uh, uh, fat holes on the street. That's what plenty of fish was for. Plenty of fish was for prison yeah. niggas. You know, they had a phone, you get you, you can get you a lick. Like, so you get you a fat hole, whatever like that, you know, yada, yada, yada. Next thing you know, she put money on your books. 
She coming up there to visit, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? This is for niggas who struggling. You know what I'm saying? So you can get go ahead and catch you a bitch. You and that bitch, you working out and shit like that. You take a couple pictures and shit like that. Them hoes gonna go. And that reminds me, I, I do not, I do not, I do not want to um, go off subject. I know we saw off subject right now. But as I was just getting out the tub, dog, I thought about, I, I was wondering if this would work for, for, if a nigga in your, I, I want all y'all to think about this. If a nigga in your town like made a page or whatever like that, made a page on Facebook for real massages. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, but he, but it kind of insinuates that it's going to be, he, 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 what if he called it a intimate massage? Intimate massage parlor is going to be at his house. And you know what I'm saying? Really what it comes down to is this is the nigga that bitches go to when they want to fuck. This is a nigga who will fuck you and shit like that. You can pay this nigga to fuck you. How, yeah. how, and this, this, and the dude is a, just an average street nigga. He's not fat or whatever like that. You know, kind of, I guess, skinny and shit. Um, but he ain't just, you know what I'm saying? He ain't GQ or no shit like that. He just an average, like 38 year old, let's say 35 year old street nigga. But he, you I know, pay for that, so somebody say, say what? I wouldn't be paying for that though. I ain't trying to get fucked by no giggle. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Um. So here it is. Um. So the dude, intimate, intimate candle massage, whatever like that. So, and then he got like a page and shit like that. And all, just like Massage Envy, all a bitch got to do is go in that bitch and set up an appointment. In your city, I want all y'all to think, in your city, how successful would this business be? Would bitches actually be going to this person? What y'all think? Would this? Would this? Would this? Uh, would this be? I don't. I don't. I don't think nobody going out there for that. You don't think so? Like you don't think like some of those the the big lonely girls, the big lonely girls. You don't think that they'll uh they'll like that, like they'll they'll you know go go you know what I mean? Because this they can. Uh, the reason why I said they all off, they all off plenty of fish already. Don't get that dick for free. No 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 no. no not, but but see that's the whole thing though. That's the whole thing though. On plenty of fish, they gotta go through all the, you know, uh, uh, what you call it, the pleasant trees, all the fucking, you know, the bullshit. With this shit right here, it's a nigga saying, and he got like a video of him, just like these new videos y'all see with nigga massaging a whole ass and shit like that. And it's like, so he got like videos like that. But now it's like, bitch, instead of playing on plenty of fish and don't know who the fuck you finna get, you see who you finna get. And like it's under the the guise that it's gonna be a fucking massage. So now you don't really gotta have you know no shame because you I'm just going away to get me a massage and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But really, you know, like this nigga is I'm gonna pay him to fuck me and shit like that. I'm wondering how successful would that. <laughs> Shout out to, uh, shout to, to, to uh, Jimmy. Um, Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. But, um... Hello? Yo, I'm here. You hear me? Hello, I, I hit you back. Hello? You hear me? You hear me? Hello? He'll call back. But the fuck is up with this nigga, too, by the way? Um, but yeah, when you're uh when you are a uh Patreon and you are a five dollar and over patron, you can call in. You get the call in number every week and you're able to call in uh and say whatever you want to say. So 
If you want that type of privilege, get the Patreon and become a lieutenant. It's a tier that you choose, lieutenant tier. But I'm wondering, though, dog, how successful would that be, though, man? Because I feel like, and that's why I'm asking y'all, like, do y'all feel like, would that be, like, in your city? Could you see a lot of the girls, could you see a lot of the girls, you know, going for it? Yeah. Mm. That's what I'm saying, fat. That's what I'm saying, fat. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know about no transgenders. But I think, that's what I'm saying. I think, and we, of course, we know if a woman did it, she gives intimate massages, it'll work. But with, I think a nigga can charge like two hundred an hour, and I think that's two hundred dollars an hour. I think that's fair because like whole a whole hour of fucking man, bitch, please. That that's plenty. That's that's fair as fuck. A whole hour of fucking bitch, please. Like any way you want it. I don't know why that shit came across my head, but it just did. I don't know. Um. I'm a, uh, I'm thinking though. Like I said, I might, I might, you know, uh, open up a little massage parlor and get like three dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like just, you know, just niggas off the street, whatever, like that. You know what I'm saying? And just like it's a lot of ways that I don't know why the fuck that shit come across my mind, but I guess it was because it's like the desperation. And these nothing ass bitches of 2019 is just it has no fucking ends. It has no ends. These dog, every woman, every woman, you like you look at this face, you look at Facebook, you look at it, and you you just for the most part, I've deleted all the those type of bitches who say, I don't give a fuck of a bitch like me because I'm a motherfucking, I'm a, I'm a strong, all that bullshit, all the, I, I've deleted them motherfuckers. If you that type of bitch and you make too many of those posts, if you a nigga and make too many motherfucker, I'm strong and all, all that bullshit, all that self fucking uh, confidence boosting shit, like if you're not saying something, when I post on Facebook, I'm posting a question. I'm trying to make somebody think. It, it's it's like it's intellectual. Um, like I don't don't I don't want don't you shouldn't post in pieces like some shit that only that insinuates that you're going through something and no one else like like how the fuck what is that all about? Like I feel like it should be clear and plain. Also, um, also don't. I don't know. That Facebook shit is crazy. But you you know on social media though, you have so many women on women on there that are just you know what it was, dog? I think it was an old bitch. What the fuck was her name? I think it was an old whole name, like Miss Miss Shirley or some shit. Like that was her fucking Facebook name, Miss Shirley. And she said first she had a meme like Oh, when, 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 after you had a long night of fucking and you can't, your legs just don't stop shaking. And then like, I guess 30 minutes later, she said, uh, I like my titties up. Like, what the fuck? Miss Shirley, like, that's, that's how you rocking Miss Shirley? So you just don't give a fuck about your children online. Fuck them, right? Um. So it like the, the desperation has no fucking bounds. And I, I really believe that it's hoes like that that would like to be freaky, but can't be freaky because of the fact that no one finds them attractive. You know what I'm saying? So fucking right, they'll pay to act out what it is that they want to be anyway. You know, 
it was always that old saying that every girl wants to be a stripper. Every girl envies a stripper. And um, for her to act out that fantasy, I truly do believe that they would pay top dollar for that. So I was just wondering. I was just wondering about that. That's the thought I had. Um. I've been doing that a lot for the last three days, thinking about, you know, just different things on the side that maybe, you know, big Why though? Why though? You know, just different businesses, like, of course, you Why why the fuck is Chris calling me? Like why I don't understand that. Like nigga, you know I'm live. Damn, man. I'm still alive. But no, nah, like, um, if motherfucker want to spend that money, if motherfucker want to spend that money, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Monday. That, 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 I, I don't. I, Monday. Monday after six o'clock, you shouldn't be calling me. Period. Regardless. But nah, I don't know. That is uh. If motherfuckers, this is the biggest, these are the biggest spenders on the planet. Like, if we're talking about, let, I mean, let's talk. If we're talking about how to, and we got to get to this Mateen Cleave shit, but if we're talking about getting money, there are a few things that are never going to go out of style. Barbers, you know, and uh, girls who do hair. The medical field. Engineers. Why in the fuck is everybody calling me? Hey, what happened, y'all? I'm sorry, y'all. That's my fault. That's my fault. Listen, y'all. The call-in number, the call-in number is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. That's my fault. That's my fault. I gave the people, if you're a patron... And you got the call in number, that number is wrong. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. I gave you the cell phone number and not the fucking call in number. I am so sorry about that. I'm putting the real number in the Patreon right now. But like I said, there are, there are a couple of um, there are a couple of trades and careers that are never going to go out of style. Um, an engineer, hair. Um, was an engineer hair, medical, 
and sex workers. Sex workers. But see, this is this is, of course, you know, everybody, you know, if we talk about the police, to be honest with you, my nigga, I really feel like them hoes, them hoes are holding down. Them hoes ain't trying to lose that shit, man. They got a guaranteed place they can go. Well, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, they can, you know what I'm saying, go in that bitch and, and be the woman that they claim to be on social media, be the woman that they, you know, they fantasize about being, they actually get to act out their fantasies under the guise of them going to get a fucking massage. I don't see, I don't see them not rocking with that shit, man. I do not see them not rocking with that shit. I, like I said, I don't know why that shit hit me, whatever like that. But at this point in life, to be honest with y'all, we have to, we have to be thinking. We have to be. There's Darius the therapist. Nothing that you said. Nothing ass bitch. What 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 are you referring to? Don't do not block him. I don't want nobody to block him. I just want to know what what he's talking about. Somebody asked what a nav was. Yeah, they said they said they finna get and shout out to Big C, but he uh he let me know like you can't you can't uh you can't replace real truckers. You can't replace real truckers. Um because it's too many, it's too many um real life variables that go on for a computer to do that you know what i'm saying i like i said because i told you i saw the um you are my lieutenants call in and let it be known what you got going on Come on over, come on over. I don't know how the hell I did that. I'm like, why in the fuck are these folk calling me, man? Uh oh, hold on, y'all. They they hit back. They hit back. All right. If you just now joining us, we had a um shout out to Jamal Thomas Moses. He says from Yen Slain Doe. Shout out to Yen Yen Slain Yen Slain Doe in the uh in the chat. Yen Slain Doe. Shout out to Cheeky Roo. But let's talk. Let's see. Let's see what the uh the uh culture people said. All right. Thanks for the fast response. That's a great question. About a year ago, our team, 4040 Brands Marketing. About a year ago. See, I want something. Yeah, about a year ago, what that is, a year ago would be August 2018. Let's go to YouTube. Because y'all remember, if if all my real, all my real AO Nation members remember that the ramp trap was a, the ramp trap was a, um, 
a segment on the Big Facts podcast. So sometimes uh, we would have episodes of the. Hold on one one second, caller. Uh, caller, uh, call back. Uh, we got another call in. So uh, call back uh, once I get off the phone with him. You, you are you watching the show right now? Okay, yeah, turn it on so you, so you can see when I'm on the phone. All right, let's do it. So, the rap trap, the rap trap been on, you know. Hold on. Hey, Mark, Matt Goodrich. Matt Goodrich. Nobody block him. Matt Goodrich. They fly drones in Iraq from D.C. My man said he he Googled 4040 brands and it don't exist. Caller. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you remember? Do you remember when uh the rap trap was being uh being shown on the Big Face podcast? Or you don't remember yeah. that far back? I remember that. Okay. So this is what I'm saying. So they saying uh, about a year ago, let's see what's going on here. That's a great question. About a year ago, our team, 4040 Brands Marketing, tried to think of something to step into the hip hop scene. And we realized there was not a place that was all hip hop, black culture. Uh. Hold on, hold on. We're going, we're going to work tonight, y'all. The 4040 team tried to think of something to step into the hip hop scene and we realized there was not a place that was a all hip hop slash black culture. What? I don't understand that. Hold on. I don't I don't understand it at all. You're saying that a year ago your brand you wanted to step onto the hip hop scene and we realized there was not a place that was all hip hop? What? What do you there what do you mean there isn't a place? Where where do you mean there's not a place that's all hip hop? Sure, we have the world stars of the world and all the blogs that focus on gossip. We try to stay away, but we wanted a place where we could focus on the culture while providing a wide range of name brand apparel to shop. YouTube. The model the YouTube model is not set up for content creators to make real money. Without providing content every day, our platform will allow you to post. Here we go. Here go the hook. Here go the hook. So I did, so this is another YouTube company. I, I, right now, that's what I'm thinking. The YouTube model is not set up for content creators to make any real money without providing content every day. Our platform will allow you to post three times, three to four times a week and make more from advertising than YouTube will ever pay you. We also don't charge as much as YouTube does for promotional advertising. The idea is to create the same content that is. Look, here we go. But I, I'm, I'm gonna keep reading. So right there, right there, it's it's already, it's already, it's over with. It's over with. Y'all gotta understand when you get these offers, every offer that you get doesn't mean, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Sony, Interscope, and uh what was it? What was the other one? Was it Atlantic or Def Jam? Uh my people uh have gotten offers from these people saying, give us this much money and we'll we'll promote you. These motherfuckers is reaching out to artists on some uh look uh uh shoot me some and I I promote you and shit like that. So now y'all are promote y'all are, y'all will sell y'all services now. 
Long gone are the days where a motherfucker can tell you that they're a signed artist and that shit be looked at like it's, oh, nigga, nah, nigga, you own. No, my nigga. If a nigga, it's so many ways to get signed to a fucking label nowadays, it, it's fucking pathetic. And nine times out of ten, when you sign to a label, you in a bad fucking situation. You at, you show me any fucking uh, uh, artist signed to a major label that's happy as fuck right now. Trevor, behind the scene, these motherfuckers ain't feeling too well. Um, cause the, the higher they, the higher the label put you, the more the label taking. But the YouTube model is not set up for content creators to make any real money without providing content every day. Our platform will allow you to do to post three, four times a week and make more from advertising than YouTube will ever pay you. We also do not charge as much as YouTube does for promotional advertising. The idea is you create the same content that you do now and get paid more. We don't want to discourage you from posting the amount of content you do now either. Pay. Our pay is based on views like YouTube. The more views you have, the more you, you're paid. The good news is you can continue to post on YouTube and drive your subscribers to another income stream for yourself, your own channel on our site. We can also help with content creator creation. And of course, you will remain the master of your content. There is much more to go over, but I thought I would start there. 40, 40. So I, oh, that's, I, I guess I read that wrong. Um, now what's what it's time to do is let's see who they are okay could you send me a link to the platform so i can check out the other content that's on there good I hate talk like I don't understand why. Well, I do understand. But you'll be surprised at what words can get mixed up and mistaken for the All right, let's get to it. All right, Carla, tell me something about it. Uh, what, what's, what's going on? What uh, subject we on? Uh, right now, uh, fuck. Uh, right now we talking about um, we talking about you know, women in their sex drive. Uh, I see. Boy, that's a lot of content to cover. Yeah. Uh, perspective or the no, let, let, I, 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 you know really because like i said I, I wanted to get you know in your city do you think a um you know so let's run it like this let's say that i want to open up a massage parlor um and i have three male um i have three male practitioners um i think that's the word the people who practice massage what do you call people who do massages? Masseuse. Masseuse. Okay, I got three. I got three male masseuse. Um, masseuses. <laughs> and um. Yeah, or Maasai or something like. Maasai. That. Yeah, I got three of them, and um, each of them have their own room, and it's just it's just it's no different from a Asian massage parlor, but you know instead of females, I got I got black men, and. Because, see, I'm a realist. I'm so much of a realist that I'll, because I feel like in order for my plan to work, I have to tell you exactly what I have so that you can give me a exact and accurate idea of what I'm going to be having. So I want to say these three masseuse, masseuse um, are not, you know, they're not just drop dead, you know, GQ. These are like average male, you know, street guys. Now, 
a woman can come to this um a woman can come to this um damn man a woman can come to this um parlor from she uh she can book her her session a couple different ways she can do it over the phone over the internet you know just however she want to do it um how it, but really the whole thing is they're called intimate uh intimate massages and uh the overall message is you're gonna get the fuck when you come here how do you feel in, in your in your city how do you feel like this will work out like will it be a a hit or people just won't really fuck with it prostitution we're talking about male prostitution right now uh, yeah, because like of the fact you know with this work you know they got this word now called um human trafficking and it's like right. what in the fuck are you talking about who I, who's the dude who got a human trafficking charge um that's the dude that just uh, killed himself epstein, epstein yeah epstein I, but um I, i'm talking more um I, I, i'm talking a black guy but it's like hope like this is this is pimping this is pimping this don't got right. nothing to do with human trafficking and then right. you know uh, they'll even say they'll even say um we have shelters for human trafficking victims it's like you're talking about the holes like hold right. on like no at the end of the day the the girl the woman for whatever reason felt like she could make money selling her body she chose to sell her body I, if you I give a I, if you give I a me definitely see how you can actually take that and uh protect yourself in the event those terms get thrown around in the legal system uh, prostitution and whatnot i have a, a format for you big homes if you okay. like to yeah yeah go ahead go ahead the, the, the format would actually be you get them uh like you would go to fill out a normal job application but you would get them to fill out uh, like a dossier. You keep a profile on each and every quote, quote, client, and you get them to sign a non-disclosure. You kind of mask it in a way of, hey, this is a private thing. You know, welcome to this elite club. You know, we're going to need your signature here. So anything down the line, you know, you're giving us consent for our gentlemen to do what they need to do. And you, you really got to doll it up so that when it comes down to court, it's like, no, you sign an NDA. You sign a non-disclosure agreement agreement that said when you came here this was going to take place nobody forced you nobody raped you you signed this yeah so we would definitely have to have that legal uh documentation now, that, oh yeah oh my god are you, oh you know that but i was i was talking more about you know right now what's going on with um a, a hoe that's on the street who gets arrested um they they give her a get out of jail free card by saying are you a human trafficking victim? If so, uh, who's the person that's who's the person that victimized you? So now what they're saying is the hoe can get a get out of jail free card by saying, "Oh no, uh, I'm not I'm not a prostitute. I'm not committing a crime. I shouldn't go to jail. I'm just a victim. I was taken advantage of by this man named uh, a pimp named Slickback. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, what the fuck? And 
yeah, human I trafficking. Think, I think we just need to uh, formulate a coalition or something to protect the males and, in that aspect. Yeah, so they said a pimp was guilty of said thing. I would say, you know, change those terms. Like, no, I'm actually her economic manager. She Man, you know, know what? You know what? And, and, and like I said, I, that, that was... And I'm so glad. I'm so last. I, you know, I, I say this. I'm blessed that that uh, that God pulled me out of that um, when He did because of the fact that it don't it don't make no sense. It wouldn't make any sense for me to be still in jail right now for you know just pretty much having fun. You know, having fun. Exactly. Um. Uh. And, and and you know, letting a letting a girl. Allowing a girl to show how much and express how much she cared for me. If a girl right. wants to go out and, and, and buy me a video game because she loves me, that's great. And, and Katrina's right. You're not going to get away with it no matter how much pay work. But if, if a girl wants to go out and get me um, an Xbox 360, and I know that's not the newest game, but that that's when I, when I got... Out the street, like that's that was my game. I, I got snatched out the street. But if she wants to buy me a video game system because to show how much she cares for me, then that's all good. If a girl wants to give me a threesome with her friend for my birthday to show how much she cares for me, then that's all good. But if a girl wants to go out and um have sex with another man, so let's let's do it like this. If a white if a white man's wife goes out and said and says to him, "Hey, I want to spice up the bedroom. I'm gonna go get a uh, some guy, and I'm gonna go get some guy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let him fuck me while you watch." This is this is a real thing. Like if if, if uh, white guys do this shit, like um. Uh, one of my niggas, shout out, um, had actually been um, approached by a um, white man. Uh, he showed him his wife and said, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, she's looking and shit like that. Hey, you want to fuck her? You're like, what the fuck? Huckle bull uh, mentality. Yeah, what is it called? Huckle. When they're in the corner watching why they have, they call the black man a, a bull. Okay. They don't go and break in the wife and whatnot. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I, I didn't know what the fuck that. That's crazy. But that that's so that they want to spice. It. So so what? So what would be the difference of me being a then pimp? This is I, I was dog. It's so crazy. We talking about this because I was just thinking about this as I was cutting my hair earlier. Um, right. I was thinking. I loved. I love. Um. We're gonna call it Nix. We're gonna, we're gonna say Nix because just for different reasons. Actually, I don't need I don't even know if I should be speaking about this. Uh with this Me Too shit going on too. Yeah, I don't. But I so I, I will say this though. I loved or I hypothetically, if I was that person and well, I would love the girl that is going out here. I would love my hoe. If I was a pimp, I would love my hoe. Because, because you know, a lot of niggas who don't understand this shit, don't know shit about this pimping shit. Ah, nigga, you, you lame if you love a girl. You lame if you if you like her. You lame if you, you know... Um, that actually makes them work harder. Yeah, dog. They, 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 they don't... They don't have they, a, they, title. You give them like that. Hey, this is, this is not me controlling you. This is me and you running this whole... Man. You, know, you bring in the girls. You're in charge of the stable. Talk the about it. Time. Talk about it. See... They don't and, understand and, and, and see, like I said, you would have to be inside. You would have to know something about the female mind. Exactly. To understand... They, they, they beat them all up and whatnot. No, that's, that's man. No. Uh uh, no. What what it is? You, I love this. You know, she a hoe and all that shit like that. This is not. This is my wife. 
And I, the reason why I love this prostitute is because she is a intricate, vital, extremely critical part of me not having to go and work at Popeye's and goddamn and, and make these fucking chicken sandwiches while the line wrapped around the goddamn corner. <laughs> You understand? Yeah. Hmm. I don't have to go up here and work the first shift or work a double because of some, my crackhead fucking employee fucking didn't wake up. So goddamn, now I got to cover his shift. This nigga didn't overdose. He in the hospital. I don't give a fuck about that shit, nigga. Bring your stupid ass to work, nigga. We, they killing us with these goddamn chicken sandwiches. Right. They, they, they killing us with this shit. You know, I'm fucked up. And I'm in here, you know... I, Dog, I was, and I wanted to call Katrina, uh, I think that was yesterday. I think my knee had started hurting for whatever fucking reason. And I wanted to tell her, like, how um, I it'll be hard for me to work. I, I, I want to tell her the hard part about working to me would be um, standing up. Standing up for a long period of time. Just being on your feet for a long period of time. And and when once you've went to that side and worked a job, you've had to deal with these people um, sober. You so with a sober mind, you've had to go up in this motherfucker and and take the piece of dough out the damn machine and, and cut the, the piece of dough up into small, medium, and larges. You know what I'm saying? And, and put the dough in, and then you had to wash the dishes and. And you know, just the the boss, the small talk, and just all those things about anyone's job that they hate. You know, it gets to a point where before you go in your job, you gotta you gotta stand out, you gotta stay out there in the car because you just hate nigga. You hate your job so much, you hate the route to get there. You don't even like heading in a direction of your job, let alone being in that parking lot. You you come through the back door of, of, of your job, and you know. You know, working at Burger King, you walk through the back door and and you see the you know you see the kitchen and you see the, the dishes up there and and you is you know you finna clock in everybody looking at you because they ready to clock out and shit like that and um you know it's just it's just a horrible fucking place to be. Everybody in this job is is just horrible and miserable because none of us want to be here. None of us want to be here. We're all here because we made mistakes. Nobody's here because they want to be here. Everybody's here because they made mistakes. And it, so it's so much misery and tension in the air. So once you come, so now you got to you gotta understand everything before you understand anything. You got to understand everything before you understand anything. To say that I understand how hard it is to work a nine to five. Not just the job, but the co-workers. Not just the co-workers, but the manager. Not just the manager, but the GM. We got we to gotta do an extra scroll. The GM's coming for our secret surprise. Whatever the fuck. Hey, right. Now that all that's going on, you get an opportunity. Or no, before we go to that, before you got this bullshit at job, you was broke as fuck. So when you was broke as fuck, now, you know, you can't go nowhere. You know, you got to go over there to grandma's house to and, and make groceries over there. You, after they go to the grocery store, you go over there with your Walmart bag and you put noodles in your bag and you got to take a, a take home plate home because you got to and then come over. You come to the house and, you know, it's just you ain't got nothing. You got peanut butter. You got a, a, a can of beans and all all you all you can do is. Walk up and down the street. You don't have no money. You don't have no money coming in because you've made a promise to yourself that you're not going to go back to jail. You're not going to go back to the street. So you know how to go get some money, but you also understand that that money that you get, that money that you're going to go get from the street, it is it, so costly. It, it, it's something that you can't afford because once you go get that money from the street, now your mind is just... Oh my God! I, I know they're on the way. Now you paranoid as fuck because the you once you went through a situation where you've been followed, where you've been tracked, where uh you it, it, they've had a a, a a 
investigation with your name in the middle of that motherfucker, you never think the same. So yeah, it's traumatic. It's scarring. It's tra- it's, it's tra- it, you're gonna have post traumatic stress. You cannot believe that these people did some shit that you see on TV to you. Right. They did some TV shit to you. So here you are. So you broke as fuck, and you just keep walking up and down the street. You walking up and down the street, you know, bouncing your basketball, just trying to think like, how the fuck am I gonna get out of this shit? And I be damned. If one day, you know, so you put in applications, Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, and then one of the places call back. One of the places call. I was just thinking about that today. A place call you and shit like that. Say, hey, can I speak to Aaron? Oh man, how? Uh, yes, sir. This is this is Aaron. Hey, uh, this is uh, this is Jim from Burger King. I was calling about your uh, your application. Oh yes, sir. I, I I definitely wanted to um see if you guys uh, needed some help. I have experience in um. In uh, in restaurants, and uh, I'm I'm eager to work. You know, you gotta get that whole speech right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? And because you tired of being broke, knowing that going into this job, you're gonna be broke for three more weeks until that first check come. But what you have in a job, you'll have. So you gotta understand that whole process. So many times we'll skip over these details, these small details. We'll skip right over them. We'll skip right over them. But that's the that's the only thing that matters. That's what fucking matters. So now, now, when you catch a bitch and she sees in you what, what's real, she sees what's real in you. She sees that you shouldn't be in this position. You have something that a lot of people don't have. So with you being, um, you might not have a dime in your pocket, but that don't matter because she never asked you about money because she's just so infatuated with you and your personality. Money never enters the, the conversation. So now it's all about her showing you and then her with no money. So both of y'all are broke, but she wants to show you because maybe you have the the bare minimums, like a house, somewhere to stay. Right. Here it is. She wants to show you that she fucks with you so much that she actually goes out and go get some money by fucking another man. It's understood in your mind. I'm not, you know, this ain't this. I'm not finna, you know, in the beginning, you're like, man, I, I don't fuck with this whole like that, man. She brought that money. That's that what's up. But as it keeps coming and you start, you know, nigga, now you dressing fresh. Nigga, you got a whole motherfucking entourage around now. You got a fucking shooter. You got a driver. You ride around in the Range Rover. Right. You going to the studio. You if and and on top of that, this bitch is bad. Right. This is a bad bitch. Like this ain't no. You twenty two. She nineteen. She light skin. Right. Mixed right. bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mixed and fat ass, no stomach, titties. And it's like, hold on, let me see who the fuck is calling. Because it's like, I know that whoever's calling is watching the show. So I'm trying to see how you can be watching the show, but still call. Hold on. All right. So I guess I guess she got the point. Whoever that was, I don't I don't mean to be rude to you, but uh me and my man here. What's your name again, Carla? Oh, this Rue. This Rue? This this cheeky Rue? Cheeky ruining this bit, man. Cheeky. Hold on, man. I fuck with Cheeky. But so now you didn't came up now. And you look at this whole situation. And yeah, you might be on dope. You might be on dope and shit like that. But you look at this situation. And you like, man, you fucking right. I love this bitch. 
Man, this bitch, you do you see how much money I have? Nigga, I just nigga, I just you, you got, did. You, you, you understand how up. broke I just was? Down in that bottom tier, you got to rank her up because she just upgraded the whole life. She didn't upgrade everything. Now it was my mind. It was my mind that did it, but it was her body. It was her body and her. And it was her body and her vigor, her tenacity, and her um um. Uh, her fervor to show how much she wanted to be with me that got us here. It was her uh, desperation, her uh, inspiration. Right, her, her willingness to just be led. Some, she, just, she had it all. She just needed somebody to teach her. She just needed somebody to teach and guide her. Like, sweetheart, you got all the tools. You shouldn't be broke. You the star. All you need is a manager. And this is what I'm saying to her. You understand? Yeah. You a yeah, star. I you the star. You. I just need to manage you. Because you don't understand. You don't understand what this world is. You can't understand what this world is because you broke. You shouldn't be broke. For as much, for as, much as you like to fuck, you shouldn't be broke. Not, no one man is going to please you. This is a real nympho I'm talking about right now. I'm doing a real nympho. This is a nympho, you know, um, a real nympho. Right, like shit, if she's going to be fucking out there, might as well get paid for it. Yeah, but, but even more than that, even more than that, look here, sweetheart, Um, as much as I fuck with you, and I'm, I'm, I'm 22, I didn't fuck you retarded all through this bitch. And am I am I am I my cousins and, and my brothers? We all like, you know, we didn't everybody didn't fuck and shit like that. But um you want to fuck me every night. And it's like that that's that's not what this is gonna be. I you, it would be sometime where I might send her in a room with, you know, whatever and let her, you know, just fuck with him. Whatever like that, but then she'll come and lay down with me. You understand what it, what it really come, like? I said it's I love you because of the fact that you changed this whole thing. I love every piece of my team. I love every every part of my engine. You know what I'm saying? Because without you, this thing wouldn't move. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I definitely so you know all that bullshit about. A nigga can't love and can't sleep in the same bed with his bitch. You crazy, man. Yeah, that's, that's how they go roll with that mindset. That's a weak ego talking. Yeah, no, nah, hell no. Weak ego. He, he afraid of nope. just from outside figures. Hell, don't matter. That, that's exactly right. No, nah, bitch, I love this bitch. I sleep in the bed with her. And when she brought in the white girl, I'm going to sleep in the bed with her too. So we all going to sleep in the bed and you're going to see that it's love. You gonna it's see that it's love. That it's an empire. That's correct. Repeat counts. Yes, but like I said, but you know what? Like I said, the fucked up part about it is, is that you know, with me going around like that and, and people seeing how how they came up, whatever. Of course, you know, baby mama hating, the streets hating because you know the nigga didn't did it again. He didn't came up right. again in the biggest way. And so now, next thing you got is a goddamn white man come to the house trying to motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Trying to motherfucking, you know, bam a nigga and shit like that. He tried to hit me with the undercover and shit like that. Like, man, I can't believe you did me like that, my nigga. But at the same time, um, had enough eyes and had enough, you know, wisdom around me to where we, we was we was able to get out of that. You know what I'm saying? So. It, it, yeah, so they couldn't slam us, so that, that was all good. But yeah, you know what? That's just crazy, though, man. It, it, it just it's just a crazy situation, and and I think about that because, like I said, human trafficking it sounds scary. It's a fucked up phrase to say, um, and um, that like how they how they just giving niggas twenty years for that shit, like it ain't yeah, nothing. I think that you're gonna Child or a girl, young, period. 14, and you sell them into like, you know, a slavery. Yep. Nothing to do with pimping. 
that's totally that's thing. correct. At the end of the day, that that's that's and that's my whole issue. Human trafficking is putting Mexicans in the back of a fucking eighteen wheeler and driving them over here and dropping them off at the nearest. So let me let me let me go ahead and say this then. Mexicans are the new slaves. Yeah. Mexicans are the new slaves. They're, they're bringing... Hold on. Shit, the fuck is wrong with these niggas? Uh, they're bringing them over there. You tell me. You ready to stop playing with that IG sponsorship bullshit? And see, that's an artist just hit me up. Yeah, who the fuck? Who, yeah, who the fuck is in the comment section talking about GD? Who in the comment section talking about GD? But uh, yeah, you know that's what that what that what human trafficking is. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, it, it's just crazy as fuck. It's crazy as fuck. But let me, because I, I don't know how the fuck I didn't ramble on all this time, and we ain't even talked about, uh, we ain't, I ain't even talked to, uh, Okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. I right, well, and I'm, I'm glad I finally got to talk to you, boy. Like I said, hit me up. We're going to work. Oh, absolutely. Sir. All right, we got it. All right. All right. Now we talking about baby, little baby. Oh. You know, prices start at two hundred and go up to two thousand, depending on what package you get, and the packages go up in increments of a hundred. So we got a two hundred dollar package, three hundred dollar package. Four hundred dollar package, so on and so forth. I'll explain all of them to you just as soon as you're ready to make a transaction. It's just too much to explain to somebody if they're not even trying to go to work right then. Most times, when I was just coming in, a lot of people would hit me up, and then I tell them all that shit, only for them to say. They gonna hit me up in two weeks when they get paid. So I just cut all that shit out and tell niggas to holler at me when they ready to go to work. I'm gonna be here continuing to rise. The only thing is with an artist, it's not easy to do nothing. Nobody wants to hear from a local artist. I'm actually on live right now telling artists about that. Come on the live and you can see right now what's going on. But baby, and for all the niggas who saying that baby, uh little baby was um that was an old what you call it. That's an old uh that's an old clip. That don't matter. What I'm trying to find out is um is baby good? Is he alright? Um because a lot of time with the artists. Okay, shout out to uh Charles Penn. Charles Patton showed a lot of love. Appreciate that, y'all. Love. And Culture Trap just sent me. Culture Trap just sent me a link. But I, I want to get to this thing, man. Let me see. This is the Culture Trap. Hold on. Uh, 
Oh no. See, with plat this day this is the culture trap. See, with a platform like this, nah, you gotta pay me. Nuh-uh. See, if you first of all, first see, look at this shit. This is they so you got a little website. You have a website and you trying to get your website popping. So you telling me that, oh, come to Culture Trap and, and make your videos and any and any um um fucking uh views that you get, you get paid for them. So you want to get as many views as possible. So what I'm gonna do is come on to your shit. Come on to your shit. I'm gonna come to Culture Trap. A whole other fucking platform and promote it. Like, hey, come to Culture Trap. Come to Culture Trap so you can see my new episode. And y'all gonna pay me. Uh, y'all gonna pay me like YouTube paid me. I get paid by the views. But I only get paid if I promote your fucking platform. Because nobody knows about no fucking Culture Trap. My nigga, let me talk to you. Matter of fact, I, I, I got so much, man. Uh, cultural view. So this motherfucker, this this is his page. This this is culture trap. So you gonna tell me come over there with your shit and tell other people to come over there so they can watch my fucking show on your fucking website. Because your website ain't popping on shit. So I got to tell them to come to Culture Trap. And I'm doing all that for free. Oh, no, you're not doing it for free. You get paid for all the views you get. Well, how am I going to get views on a platform that no one knows about? Well, that's, that's you know, you just promote it the same way you promote your YouTube videos. Okay. Uh, when I do that, that's going to bring people to your platform. If you were YouTube, a platform that or, or, or Venmo or any platform that already has, and see, it's the same thing with Zeus, with uh, Netflix, uh, Hulu. Everybody's competing right now with you getting any fucking uh, uh, what what D said, a Fire Stick, a Roku. All these motherfuckers come with different streaming packages and shit like streaming services. Some of they don't just come with Netflix and that shit. They come with Netflix, Hulu. Uh, fucking Amazon Prime, all these different things. So everybody's competing. So that's why they're throwing out. Um, shout out to the nigga, um, Desi Desi Alexander. Um, he just got a hundred thousand from Netflix off of um, off of um, like a stand up special, and, and like he's not even known like that. He's not even known. Uh, and his channel don't look his Facebook page look like any other fucking you know what I'm saying. So I know that I'm gonna get some money from you know one of these motherfuckers, but it's like because it's like just like we're different artists and different producers, different beat makers, different personalities. Um trying to make it there are also people behind the scene different streaming platforms up and coming streaming platform that are trying to find everybody's trying to get seen everybody's trying to get eyes if you are a content creator if you're a person first of all if you're a personality because a lot some of these a lot a lot of these people on youtube that give the news and shit like that Not Desi Banks. But everybody's trying to get eyes. But a lot of these YouTubers, 
what you just coming on this bitch that the same people I was talking about who got to hide behind the fucking darkness and can't show their face and shit and just uh, on on March 22nd uh, and just some cookie cutter bullshit just speaking of what happened and that's it. Like once you've seen once you've seen the news, once you've seen that Kodak Black takes a plea deal, there's no reason. So just pick one of them and all the rest of them. So it's pretty much you can get subscribed to all of them just so you can be on top of the news. But whichever one, a lot of people only have one fucking, you know, um, newscaster, um, hip hop YouTuber um, they're subscribed to because why the fuck do you need the other ones? Why would you need the other ones? Like, I've already heard the story. What are you going to say different? All of you are saying the same exact thing. Kodak Black takes a plea deal. Kodak Black takes a plea deal. Kodak Black takes a plea deal. Um, XXX Tentation, uh, um, Tentation shot. XXX Tentation gets shot. XXX, this is sad. Nipsey Hussle gets shot. Nipsey Hussle got shot. Nipsey Hussle shot. Nipsey Hussle. It's like, why would, why do I have to watch? So, those people are there they have to stay on youtube like what else can you do what, what there is nothing in you're not entertaining you're you're telling me what happened you're not bringing anything new to you're not so it's a difference so with with what i'm trying to do like the person whoever um the fuck, man. My man who made the um I posted on my YouTube. Person who posted this. Hey homie sent me this. I know y'all can't read it, but I'm sure y'all seen this uh, on my Instagram, on my Facebook, on my uh, YouTube. Um, he sent it. Shout out to Corman T. Warren. That guy supports. Is that your name in the chat? I appreciate that, Corman. But I say that to say with that, with that, the person uh, that made this, they said um, I had landed a hundred thousand dollar deal with Netflix for the rap trap theory documentary. And now I said this shit to my fucking mama because it's just like, it looked real to the motherfucker. It's like, Dog, this is the shit that it'll motivate the fuck like dog. It's it's right here and it can be done. Sometimes you just gotta see it to actually, you know what I'm saying, put it in your mind, like, no, nah, this is real shit. Um, so it's but it's a lot of a hundred thousand dollars. I don't know what I can, you know. I can't really do too much of that with that. And for my shit to be broadcast like that and put out there, and then, you know, you got to read the contract. Do it say that you're going to have rights to it? Are they taking the whole thing? Is it now, does it now belong to them? Like, Rap Trap Theory documentary and the three S's audio book or paperback book being published. Those are my two things. Those are my two things. Um, the pilot, the trailer, the trailer for the Rap Trap Theory send it out to not all of the streaming services for Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Zeus. I think that with those three, I'll be in the best hands. Now, as far as what they'll be willing to give, that's going to be very important. 
Um, because whether or not they pick it up, I'm still going to, the DVD is still going to be sold. Like it's going to be, so if they, if they don't pick it up, then we're going straight to goddamn, you know, um, cause I don't know how I work. And that's why I said, I, I, I I'm going to pick the intern in October, but I don't know exactly like how it happens as far as can I sell the DVD after they pick it up. So if they pick up, the, the rap trap theory and say we fucking with it and they give me what I want. I'm sure I can't just still be selling that shit. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I'm sure I can't do that. So I'm sure that they going they going you know, take over. But that that's something different. But that's what I want to do. With every live that we do, every week, you know, we go live. Last week we couldn't do it. Uh, don't do a direct, but put keep the rights to it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna trade. Yeah, you know we gonna it's gonna everything be trademark. Yeah. Yeah, holler at me, Cheeky. Bro, this man testing it right now with all these subjects. But, hey, preach, bro. Don't block him. Don't block him. Uh, don't give away too much of your plan. You're right, Anthony. That's my fault. I'm tired. I'm, I'm sleepy. Um, it's, it's real deal. Sharks out here, just like that email you got. Move in silence, create the do domain name for your channels. It's like $7.99 or something. I own six of them. You have to write out the format and have it. Matt Haskins? Matt, where the hell you been at, man? Max, Maximi. Next to me, she said, take the hundred thousand. Mm. But yes, I, I am, and you're right. My man is right. Anthony is right. Um, you, you don't want to give away too much of the play. But at the same time, it's like, I don't see how a person could, it ain't no way you can sneak up under this. Also, oh, Matt can't look at Matt. Matt can't, you know, Matt Haskins, that's one of the first, first. I'm talking about. Donate, it was him and a guy named Elliot. I think Elliot was the first person to donate like $100. And that was crazy. But uh, I appreciate that, man. I ain't seen you in a while. Yeah, I can't, I don't say, I can't fuck with that 100000 like that. Oh, fuck, now this shit finna go dead. All right, look, y'all, hold on. Let me, let me show y'all this video. I need y'all to see this. Damn, this shit finna go fucking dead. But this is what I want to do every week. We want to we we want to talk about you know what we got going on, and um and how what we did that week. Jurors found ex MSU basketball star Martin Cleves not guilty of sexual assault charges, but now we are getting our first look at critical evidence from his trial. In surveillance video from the night Cleves was accused of rape. Video you'll see only on seven. Seven investigator Ross Jones is here right now with a look at that key evidence. Ross? Here on the day of the evening, the jury acquitted Cleves on all four counts of sexual assault, and they did it after watching this video. It was a critical piece of evidence that you were barred from seeing during trial. You're about to see it now, but we need I to can't see it. anything. It's always difficult to watch. In the early hours of September 15th, 2015, the woman who alleged Mateen Cleves raped her is seen walking away from the Knights Inn Motel, partially nude. That's Cleves following her, wearing nothing but socks. You can see Cleves grab her, spin her around, and pull her back to the room she just tried to leave. She bends her knees to resist and continues to try pulling away before it appears, ultimately giving up. The video has no audio, but in court, a witness to the struggle testified about what she saw and heard. She looked at me and she said, 
help me, help me, help me. And I had the phone in my hand, and I told her, I'm on the phone right now, calling the police. I looked at Mateen in the eyes. He didn't say one word. Thirteen minutes later, she appears again, this time running away from Cleves, who chases her, then grabs her with both arms, pulling her back to the room. The struggle continues until she ultimately falls to the ground, and seconds later, she tries to get away again. Once again, <laughs> Cleves pulls her back, wrapping both arms around her waist and pulling her into the room. The same witness who called 911 also testified that she spoke to Cleves' accuser that night. She said that he got on top of her, but she couldn't fight him off, and that um, she just lay there. Cleves' attorneys maintain that the sex was consensual all along. The video showed Cleves trying to protect the woman when he pulled her back into the room. Ultimately, jurors sided with the former MSU star, deliberating less than three hours before acquitting him of all charges. And about an hour ago, Cleves' attorney Frank Manley issued a statement about the video we just showed you. It reads, the video was presented in a court of law. The jury found Mr. Cleves not guilty of all charges. The complainant had her day in court. The criminal matter is closed. Not guilty remains not guilty. We should also add Cleve's accuser declined to comment. I lost you. That's see that that that's I think I'm gonna put that on a crucial day of testimony in the Mateen. I think I'm gonna put that on uh I think I'm gonna put that on the uh, the um, the go to faggots. I think I'm gonna put that on the uh, the me and two channel. Um, but that's 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 like when you got shit like that, I can't see shit on this screen. They, YouTube get a cut of what? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Choke No Joke selling the tunnel documentary on YouTube for $4. Dog, I might need to do that. But I want, I want more folks to have an actual copy of the... Uh... Yeah, I heard about Lil' Dale. I heard about Lil' Dale. Y'all going crazy. Yeah, the choke DVD. Yeah, yeah. I, I want y'all to have an actual. Yeah, yeah. YouTube for the cutting to that shit big time. But I want y'all to have a actual DVD. So um. But I, like I said, I, I don't know how the shit work as far as. I want to put the shit out first, like and let y'all get it, and then you know. As I'm putting it out, present it to them like, hey, do y'all want to pick up on this? And they can say it's something else, stupid. Yeah, but as far as my man right here, uh, Mateen, it's like, nigga, that's, that's, that shit is heavy as fuck. Like, but I I I'll leave it at that, and I'm gonna make an actual video about the Mateen shit. Uh, cause this phone finna go dead. Look, love, love, love. I fuck with all y'all, all my patrons, everybody who donated and shit like that is love. Y'all know what it is. Next Monday we doing the same thing, 7 p.m. Don't be late next week, y'all. Tired of y'all always being late, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. Be on the lookout for that. And of course, this shit. How? Shout out to, once again, shout out to um Charles Patton. Charles Patton. He's showing a lot of love, man. I appreciate that, y'all.
Love, love, love. See y'all in a minute, love. I had to get off the 
and you. So cut it out. They think that they want it, but they don't really want it. I struggle no more, I struggle no more. They don't see it coming. I handle my business, I stay the fuck the way. Get all the lane, I get the fuck out my space. I'm on the way to the street. 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 I'm on the way to the street.